Okay, so one detail I'd like to mention, since I've built this robotic arm, since this robotic arm here is completely built, I noticed there were some small errors as I was building it. Now, the instructions told me to turn the servo motor in certain directions, and I did do that, and I did follow it correctly. But I've noticed that by testing it by taking a, an Arduino potentiometer and doing a simple connection from servo motor to Arduino, and to test it with using the simple uh, servo knob servo knob mode that's preset inside the Arduino program, where you can easily connect it to test your servos. And me testing it, I've noticed by doing this, it does turn, but as you can see, I go right here, and I still can turn this more, like that. I can still turn this more, and it won't move. And I turn it all the way this direction, and it stops there. So, when you build this robot, you do need to make some adjustments. As you can see, I took the screw off here, and took it off in the center here. And I noticed that if you adjust it like that, and turn it like this, this will make it work. I should have done this while I was building it, and test it while I build. Because if you were to test building this robot, when you build this robotic arm, and you test it while you're building it, then you'll know how well it should work. So I adjusted this here, and now it rotates perfectly. Perfect 180 degrees correctly. Stops like that. And there, that works. Now, I've already uh, tested it with this servo motor and this servo motor, and both of these were wrong, so I readjusted it the exact same way on this one, on these two. So far, I did not test this one, this one, and this one yet, but I'll do that uh, later. I just wanted to add that to a detail to show that in case you're having trouble building this robotic arm, you need to do adjustments like I just did just now while you're building it. Don't do it after, it becomes a little bit more complicated, because then you have to take this off, and more screws to unscrew, and it becomes more complicated. I highly recommend testing your servo motors while you're building it, so that way you can do pre-adjustments before you finish building, and that way you know it's going to work exactly the way it's supposed to. So there you have it, just a little simple tip to be able to build this robotic arm in the most simplest, easiest way. So there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.